now give the floor to the World Union of Progressive Judaism. Probably the most egregious example of religious racism and defamation has been the medieval blood libel, the Christian accusation the Jews use human blood for unleavened bread at Passover. This libel, which targeted European Jews for centuries, was revived from 1840 in Damascus, in Eastern Europe and Russia, in the Middle East by Christian communities, by the Nazis from the 1920s, and in the Arab Muslim world for the last century. Twenty years ago, a crude revival of the 1840 Damascus Fair Blood libel was launched at the Commission when we gave a quote from the preface to Syrian Defense Minister Mustafa Klass's book, The Matzah of Zion, quote, the Jew can kill you and take your blood in order to make his Zionist bread. I hope that I have done my duty in presenting the practices of the enemy of our historic nation. Allah aid this project, end of quote. Exercising her right of reply, the Syrian delegate Nabila Shalan, while waving her minister's book, launched, quote, an appeal to all members of this commission to read this very important work that demonstrates unequivocally the historical reality of Zionist racism, end of quote. Bookstores in Damascus, and especially outside tourist hotels, are filled with many language copies of the Matzo of Zion, the Prodigals of the Learned Elders of Zion, and Hitler's Mein Kampf, and similar Jew hatred books are found in most Arab Muslim countries, even at last month's SEAL book fair in Casablanca. We hope that the resolution before the Council combating incitement to religious hatred and violence will be adopted and that all the member states of the OIC will carefully consider the implications of this resolution for their own societies. Finally, the 1840 epitaph to Father Thomas, replaced since 1866 in the Terra Sancta Church of Damascus, perpetuates the 1840 blood libel. May we, sir, through the good offices of the distinguished representative of the Holy See, ask Pope Benedict XVI, following his historic condemnation earlier this month of the accusation of deicide against Jews, to now order the removal of this infamous plaque. To conclude, sir, Sir Moses Montefiore made an appeal to the Pope in 1840. May our appeal, 171 years later, be heard for magna est veritab, as is veritas et privelebit, truth is great and will prevail. Thank you, Mr. President.